Hey, this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and today is Tuesday, October the 9th, and you can see uh, backed out here where you can see, but we had a nice uh, downtrend channel. This channel was, the upper side was a little difficult to find, uh, but let me show you how I found it. I drew these li a line down here to where I thought I had the uh, the best fit, which was right there, and then I just copied that line. You can see that's just a perfect copy there, and I drug it to the top. I drug it here first, but it just didn't seem to fit there. I drug it over here, and then you could see it. You know, when we got these two touches, we just got a little overshoot in the overnight there, and so then we had those two touches, and you can see that um, it fits really nicely, and that's right where we turned again, and. Um, so that's how I found the channel, and uh, sometimes you just have to play around uh, until you get it, and it's generally going to be off the first couple of swings, so that makes sense. That fits well right there. Uh, you can see that it was bouncing down here every time uh, we touched that line. That's a good sign, and so if you just take that line and move it up, uh, then you get it. So let me back out a little bit more, talk about the trades. There weren't a lot of setups, but, man, if you caught one of these that were really good and um the best uh the first setup was right here <laughs> excuse you can see that we uh, we were pulling back we had a couple of legs back up here one leg pull back second leg but we came um and you and you probably wouldn't have had that you may not have had this line right here but you got this nice little doji right after this big bullish bar right here and uh, so it's set up, and you got two legs back, so it's set up pretty good. And, uh, you, you know, I was expecting we'd at least come back down and test this low. Uh, and that's kind of what we did. We got a little bit lower. And you actually could have gone long right here, but, you know, we had this big bearish move, so I was thinking we were going to at least get a measured leg down, which was down in here somewhere. And um, at least back down here at these lows again. So, um, so that's the reason I didn't like, but then we made this double top right here. Um, so even though, even if you didn't have a trend line in there, didn't find that trend line, you got this double top and you got that one tick up and you got a chance, a little bearish reversal bar chance to get short again, thinking we're going to at least come down and get this measured move, which was, let's just show you where that is leg one. And then you put this over. So leg measured move is right down in here somewhere. And uh, so that's what I was looking for to happen. And there was actually even somewhat of a setup here, but it's not a really good setup. Um, so I didn't mark it because you got all these stems. And notice all the stems down here that we're getting a lot of buying pressure every time prices drop down there. But uh, if you caught this trade, your runners were easy, you know, your runners were safe, and you could have ridden this all the way down. And uh, so that was your key entry right there and again even if you didn't have a trend line you got a double top right across there I'll get my line right here you got this little double top and prices broke one tick higher that's a better actually this kind of double top is better than an even double top because it traps people and um, and so you got you a nice bar there uh, to get short on. And so regardless if you had that there, and these are two lower lows than this low. And uh, you had to be thinking that we might make a measured move that I just, like I just showed you a minute ago. So um, a nice reason to go short right there. And then it was there was another second entry short right here. You got a two-legged pullback. But look how far we've moved. It's really dangerous. If you saw it and took it, it's okay. Um, because it is a double top, it does fit our rules, and there is enough room to scalp out. So if you saw that one, took it, it's okay. But I was still short, and I wasn't going to add on way down here. So, um, and that you know, so I didn't mark it basically. And then we made a little bit lower low, and then one tick lower here. So there was actually a long right here. But again, it's really risky going long here because we've really had no. Um, 
you know, we just now really got a double bottom, and we got that one tick short or short right there. And so one, two, three, four. Actually, this one would have failed here, and so um, that's a good reason not to take it. But when we made this little, let me back out where you can see this one right here. Notice how we made one more push lower, then we went up and we tried, and then you got all this, and now you got a bunch of stems down here, and you got a chance to get long way down here. And so this one was worth taking if you took it, um, because now we've tried to go lower here one, two, three, four times. There's nothing but stems. Uh, there is enough room to scalp out before you get to the high, and you can see it was a little iffy, and you might have, you know, have exited right here if you did take that. But this fits our rules. It's a tradable, you know, uh, a takeable trade if you saw it. So I marked it. Um, again, I actually exited my trade here, and I almost reversed, but I didn't. I wanted to wait and see what happened. And uh, But then when we made this double top up here, and you got two measured legs up, and let me show you that. Here's leg one. Then you got a little pullback correction, and then there's... And then there's leg two. And it went one tick higher, but that's still close enough. And it was right off of these previous highs over here. Um, so it was good enough to go short right there if you wanted to take it, figuring we're at least going to come down here and test these lows again. And that's exactly where we bounced. There's not a good setup here to go long, though. And it was really dangerous to go short here because now you should have this trend line in place. You could have found this by now if you didn't already have it there. And we haven't quite gotten there. Notice how we kept selling off. There was a lot of resistance here, but we didn't get the big sell off until we actually touched that trend that trend line. And so that's what you got to keep in mind. And this was so close, and depending on how you drew your line, you might have got a touch here. Um, there was actually a little trap again here. Let me show you this. It's just the opposite of what we had down here. We went up, had a little kind of inside bar, and then we went higher again, and it failed, and we turned down. So you could have gone short right there, and that was a, and, and this one was scary, and it wasn't a great setup, but we're getting so much resistance across here, and we got the trend line so close that we figured we got to get some help from it, and we did. Uh, we actually got some help from the resistance area. When we touched it again, it turned back down. So if you didn't get out, you probably didn't get out until it made the second leg down, and um so then we come up and we got a break of the trend line, but now we've touched it. And notice this big bearish bar, great place to get short. Um, any runners were safe again here, and you could have ridden this down. And now we got a new low down here. We got a little bit of a break of trend line, not much. We got a new low. And then by this time it's 2.30 in the afternoon, and this is just kind of noise uh, before the market closes. And so it was all pretty much downhill. We actually spent the majority of the day, let me show you this too, we actually spent, we went into this little range about 10 o'clock, I would say, and so until 2.30. So we spent the majority of the day in this range, which is 37.50 to 41.50. So another three-point range, very similar to what we did yesterday, except we did have this big sell-off first. So um, it was better not to take any longs down here. Um, and this one I probably should have made this green because it's really risky going long right there. So I'm going to change that to green. And most of you that follow me know that a green is a trade that fits the rules, but it's not a great setup because it's a counter trend trade. And notice if you'd have tried to get in here, let's see, 38.50. Now you would have got out on that one and you entered here. Your entry would have been 38.50. And you would have got out of that one too. So you would have got out of both. All of these worked. Um, so you could have traded any one of these. Actually, this was a this one you may not have got out of. It bounced against your exit order. Uh, but usually you got to get a tick through a limit order. So this one was iffy. This one would have worked. Um, this one would have worked. Uh, this one would have worked, but this one was iffy, iffy. But notice you're having to get a little longer, a lot closer to the EMA, and so that's a enough reason to skip that one. But this one allowed you to get, and again, you're close to the EMA, but you got the trap on this one. Notice those two tries, just like we got here. We got two tries, and so you got a trap right there. 
And generally those traps, especially uh, if they're at strong support or resistance, are going to help you. And so, but by that time, you know, now you realize we've already broke lower. We've had a got a double top here. So this one, there's not a good setup here. These never got down there. You finally got down here right here. Uh, but now you're coming off the trend channel, and there's not a whole serious break there. So this one's really risky. Uh, once we broke lower and made a new low, then it was probably okay to go long right there, and that would have worked. But it's so late in the day, I just don't recommend that, and I didn't mark it. So really we had one, two, three, four, five really good setups. Um, and you should have made most of your money off of these over here. Uh, and then we were in this range the rest of the day. And you could have traded your range rules here and bought these blindly. If you, but you see right here, if you bought this one blindly, of course, your low would have been down here by the end. You see, yeah, you probably would have, you probably would have worked out. Even if it went lower, it didn't probably hit your two point stop and it came back and then it would have worked out. It was better to wait on the break lower. Uh, now that we're in this range, you, you probably, you might, you might switch to range rules. And that's another reason to take this. This is a new high. This is a new low and it would have worked out. So, uh, but anyway, the trend was really down and, um, I would have stuck to the trend, you know, trading this as a downtrend and you would have been a whole lot better off. You would have got the best trades, uh, the ones that would have caught you a few runners and so forth. So, but anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, it's been a long day. I, I, I sat here and watched all this mess and just got kind of frustrated by the end of the day and wasted a lot of time just sitting here watching it mostly. So um, I'm going to wrap it up and get out of here early today. I uh, hope you had a good trading day. And, um, if not, a better one tomorrow. I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll see you next time. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com.